scenario. If you're a patient and you go to the hospital, the, doc the doctor is going to diagnose you based on your complaint and based on the test made on you. But can you imagine if you were the doctor, you having the knowledge of medicine, how effective it would have been solving that particular problem you're facing because you are facing it. This brings me to the topic. The prevalence of men in STEM is slowing down scientific and technological advancement as it pertains to issues impacting women. If we are to talk about careers, related jobs related to the engineering sector, we know that men are outnumbering the women. This is why I believe that women are still facing so many problems in the world today. Not because the men in engineering are not doing their best, they are. But because our ideologies are different from their ideologies, our needs are different from their needs. And yes, women are breaking those bounds. Women, we find women in the engineering sector, such as, pardon me for the pronunciation, Miss Enyaka um, Papana in Ghana, Miss Funky Opoka in Nigeria, Miss Hima Vala in South Africa. Just to mention a few, these are women that are making massive difference in the engineering sector and they are actually impacting a lot. But can you imagine 50-50% representation of both sexes in this sector, in the engineering sector, this is like solving everyone's problem. And so if you talk about, and as an engineer in the University of Engineering and Natural Resources, Ghana, I know that I'm going to acquire the knowledge to solve certain problems in the world and I'm going to focus on solving problems related to women such as uh, maternal mortality, such as uh, pregnant women, disabled women, just to mention a few numerous problems women are facing. And can you imagine we having more women on board? This is like solving our problems. And if you talk about women solving problems, it's not only solving problems that are related to only women, but children also, because if you talk about women, children are not far away. And I'm going to take this ad advantage of this to appeal to every mother out there to encourage our female children to come join us in women in engineering. I'm appealing to every sister out there, come join us, come join women in engineering, and let us make a difference and solve our own problems. Thank you. And solve our own problems.